many offices doesn't have a blanket fort, but we do have one here in, in Cognizant, so... Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kim, I'm the CEO of Cognizant Latvia. Today we are going to test the Deeply Mini Projector. And uh, while uh, reading the, uh, the description and the reviews, it was mainly two things that made us choose this product. One is that they actually themselves in the description say that the projection is bad, uh, not one time but four times which is an excellent uh, way of, of getting our attention. And the other thing is, is this picture uh, where they show the, the Beamer in, in, in action. Uh, for me, it looks absolutely hilarious. Uh, it looks obviously like photoshopped picture, so uh, we'll see if it works in reality as well. We have some power, uh, we have a remote control, uh, we have some, some cables, and we have a tiny Beamer. It's um, blue and white, it has a lot of buttons. Looks actually like a normal Beamer. Uh, you have a user guide, <laughs> and it's interesting that they already on the first page warned that this manual might actually be for another version than the Beamer that you have got. So I think uh, it will not be a problem for us to, to get this to connected and up and running. But we can of course not test it here where we have a lot of light because product description for this projector says, this is uh, for wild imaginations and novel ideas. Uh, for indoor stargazing or blanket fort cartoon watching. So that's exactly how we will test this uh, Beamer. Many offices doesn't have a blanket fort, but we do have one here in, in Cognizant. So we, of course, got the Beamer up and running, uh, showing some cartoons. Worth noted is that uh, the user interface on this is, is not really intuitive. It's actually quite a hassle to, to actually figure out how to get it to play some, some movies. Uh, also, it doesn't come with a EU plug for the electricity, so you need to have an adapter in order to fire it up. But uh, otherwise, in a blanket fort where it's kind of dark, it uh, shows a good picture quality. Also, uh, the sound of the, on this, if we turn up the volume, is, is, is also good. So, considering the, uh, the price of 35 euros, I think this is uh, definitely quite okay technology, or at least uh, better than, than worst of tech. So this is something that we will uh, keep and, and avoid destroying in the end of the season. And since the verdict is uh, this is uh, good technology, we will make a lottery where someone can win this uh, Beamer later in the season. In order to participate in the lottery, uh, you need to go and check out our Facebook page. Also, if you like the, uh, the test that we are doing, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, subscribe to Worst of Tech, because uh, very soon uh, we will be releasing a new episode. So uh, until then, have a good day.